Hi everyone. It is now 10 a.m. in Toronto. Today is June 19, 2022. We are at the Armory here on University Avenue and Queen Street. And we're very close to the Nathan Phillips Square, which is where I'm going to be heading now and to show you guys apparently there's a fair or like a market going on today so we'll take a look at that and uh, see what we find see you guys soon it's very warm today Beautiful sunny day here in Toronto. I'm gonna go around in a circle, see if we can get as many of these vendor booths as possible. Looks like they're starting their day, getting set up. There seems to be an emphasis on arts and crafts. One of the things that I find is missing from Nathan Phillips Square is a water fountain. Unless there already is a water fountain here and I just happen to not know where it is. Toronto sign, That's City Hall buildings. This is probably one of my favorite views of Nathan Phillips Square. John Naughton Overflow 2021. Salvaged expanded polystyrene, epoxy resin, paint as part of Artworks Toronto. Five icebergs have mysteriously floated into Toronto's Nathan Phillips Square. They were a long way from home and despite the warm sun, they never seemed to melt. Made almost entirely of styrofoam salvaged from a Toronto demolition site, this ironic material offers a sharp contrast to the natural impermanence of melting ice. And yet, these are no ordinary icebergs. Viewed from the opposite side, these hybrids between the natural and constructed world take on an entirely different persona. 
Take a walk to the other side of the pool for a fresh perspective on these enigmatic structures. John Naughton is a Toronto-based contemporary artist. His practice focuses on the transformation of a wide range of materials and common objects into new and surprising configurations. The immersive interactive installations he creates address environmental issues and those of displacement, consumerism, and power. He has created numerous large-scale public art installations in Toronto and across the province. The artist wishes to acknowledge the generosity of Ellis Don for their interest and support in this project as part of their ongoing commitment to sustainable practices in the construction industry. Have some baked goods, coffee, fine tea, comic books. Handcrafted resin gifts. So on the left side or south side of these structures, they appear to be icebergs. And on the north side, they appear to be buildings. An interesting contrast. We have beeswax food wraps. Wood by Julia. We have sage and thistle, artisan soaps. Here's the Toronto sign. Hardwood, Harding Wooden Furniture, Meg Ellie's Art, Fine Artist, More Prints, Ronsi packs. Wow. Have some handmade soaps. Fine art and stationary goods. This wraps up our 
brief tour of Nathan Phillips Square today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.